Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to format and reinstall Windows Vista. Now, place the Windows Vista disk in the CD drive and reboot the computer. You should be able to see, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press the Enter key in your keyboard. If you don't see this, I have a link in the description box that can help you do that. By changing the uh, first boot device to be the CD-ROM. Now here, select the language, time, keyboard, and then click on next. Click on install now. Here, enter your key, and you can check mark automatically activate windows when I'm online. When you're done, click on next. This window came up because I didn't uh, place the, the key. Select the version of Windows that you purchased and then click on Next. Accept the license terms and agreement. Here select Custom Advanced. And now this is my previous installation of Windows Vista. As you can see it's a primary partition disk 0. Now select it, click Drive Options Advanced and then Delete. Make sure that before you do this click on OK you have your all your personal files and folders backed up now that the drive is blank unallocated selected and then click on next there's no need to format the formatting process in Windows Vista is done automatically remember Windows Vista cannot be installed on an unformatted drive I'm going to fast forward this installation process perfect now the computer will restart keep in mind that when the computer restarts it will ask you to boot from CD or DVD again do not press enter when you see the boot from CD or DVD again now in the description box I have a few links that will help you save your activation token uh, and also save your drivers for example you can save your printer camera drivers so that way when you reinstall the operating system just run the program again it will install the drivers and you don't have to place CD per CD for your peripherals attached to the computer now here type your name and password if you wish change the picture next set your background image next and here you can set to ask you later or use the recommended settings like I would select the uh, time zone date time next home and you're not finished yet click on start and now Windows Vista will check your computer performance for a little while and once it's done you should be able to boot from Windows Vista. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Miguel. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. And I fast forward this uh, not to skip a step in the installation process. Thank you.